In this video, I'd like to show you how to create an execute JavaScript trigger in Articulate Storyline 360, which you can use to easily place separator lines into the sidebar navigation menu. Hi, my name's Chris from Discovery Learning, and you are watching the Storyline Magic series for Articulate Storyline 360 developers. So by default, Storyline allows us to organize the navigation menu built into the player interface using slide links or custom headings into which links can be arranged under a dropdown. Today, we're going to be building the ability to add separator lines to the menu wherever we would like. Perhaps one day this feature might get added to Storyline, which would be a nice thing. But for the time being, this little Storyline hack is a useful way of adding further organization to the navigation menu. To get started, we'll be setting up our execute JavaScript trigger on the starting slide when the timeline starts. This is because I have my activity set to not resume on restart. But if you are using this setting, then you can just add your execute JavaScript trigger to the master slide of your project instead. To that end, we could also update the opening slide properties here so that it resumes from its save state when revisiting. Let's open the JavaScript editor window now and start things off in our code by selecting all the list item or li tag elements within the navigation's unordered list or ul tag element. To do this, we'll use document.query selector all with a capital S and a capital A, open and close parentheses, and in single quotes, ul space li and end that line with a semicolon. By selecting all of the list items, we can target specific headers in the menu based on their attributes. Next, we're going to loop through each list item element with a for each loop, so we can examine each list item individually. Now, here's the main part to all of this. We're going to look for items where the data hyphen slide hyphen title attribute is set as three hyphens like this. This attribute is going to act as our separator marker, meaning all we need to do is create a new heading in the menu using three hyphens in order for our code to take effect. I'll type const slide title equals li dot query selector with a capital S, open and close parentheses, and in single quotes div, and then dot get attribute with a capital A, open and close parentheses, and in single quotes this time, data hyphen slide hyphen title, and end that line with a semicolon. Then we'll check if the slide title is equal to three hyphens. And if that's true, then we know it's a separator line and we can apply our styling. Once we've identified these items, we'll set li.style.pointerEvents with a capital E to none in single quotes and end the line with a semicolon. And this will make sure the separator lines aren't clickable. Next, we'll type li.style.height equals, and in single quotes, 18 px or 18 pixels and line with a semicolon and this style rule adjusts the height of each line item feel free to adjust this height if you'd prefer to have more space between sections now we'll create the actual separator line this is done by creating a new div element and adding styles to it For the line itself, I'm setting the width to 85% and the height to one pixel. I'm also setting the background color to white using separator line with a capital L dot style dot background color with a capital C equals and in single quotes, the hex code for white which is hashtag and three Fs. These dimensions create a subtle yet visible line that fits neatly into the sidebar. To position the line precisely, I'll set position to absolute and I'll adjust its placement with top 
left. And margin properties, adding a few pixels of margin space to the left hand edge. It's also very important that we apply an unset rule to the element's minimum height value. Once the line styling is done, we'll remove the original three hyphens from within the list item using li.innerHTML equals and two single quotes with nothing between and end that line with a semicolon. This ensures that our separator line is now the only content inside this item. Finally, we append the separator line to the list item and that completes our code. So if we now go ahead and preview the project, you'll see line items appear wherever we use three hyphens as a heading title in the sidebar navigation menu, which can help to better organize the sections of your course. And there we have it, another useful enhancement hack that you can call upon whenever you might need it for your storyline projects. If you want to check the code that you've written when following along with this video, then you'll find this written down over on the Discover eLearning website. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more storyline magic coming very soon. And for those of you looking to dive deeper into advanced storyline development techniques, then be sure to check out our advanced eLearning developer series found over on the Discover eLearning website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.